Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Mount Carmel School District Board of Education meeting from October. If you stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Moment of silence. Thank you. You can be seated. Roll call for Mr. Valley. And Mr. Valley is here. Mr. Berzowski present. Mr. Brecker present. Mr. Gonzalo here. Mr. Dixon here. Ms. James is absent. Is Mr. Muldowney online? Out. No. And Mr. Reno here. And Mr. Zach here. Right, announcements, Mr. Cheddar. Uh, thank you, Mr. Reno. Just some quick announcements. Uh, already, end of our first market period approaching. October 28th is our official end of the market period. Uh, Thursday, the 24th, mm -hmm. as a reminder, is our Act 80 early dismissal. I'm sure our principals are going to discuss some of our Halloween activities as well. And then our first report card date will be Tuesday, November 5th. Uh, more information coming from our, our building announcements as well. Also, at this time of the year, we have to prepare, uh, crazy to think about, but uh, winter weather. The delay schedules are up on our website, our two and three hour delay schedules, including our bus schedules. So please uh, reach out to your principal's office or us here at the district office with any questions. Thank you to the Mount Carmel Coppa Center for your $1,000 donation towards our annual uh, summer coppice camp. We're already going to be planning for our eighth uh, summer coppice camp this coming uh, January. So we're excited about that as well. And finally, uh, a reminder to our community about our winter coat and clothing project. If your child is in need of a winter coat or any dress code appropriate clothes, make sure you fill out the Google Doc that's attached there on the screen. There's a link under our Mount Carmel Area Education Foundation uh, for quick reference and more information about our uh, clothing and winter coat project. So any questions, uh, please reach out to myself or Ms. Deb or Ms. Marcy in the high school office. And Mr. Reno, that's all I have. All right, thank you, Mr. Cheddar. This time I'd like to recognize the Student Merit Award winners for October. We'll start with Jacob Day, and Mr. Breck there is going to read that. Jacob, is that you? Yeah. All right. All right, Jacob. Well, you were nominated by uh, Mrs. Zuller, so I'm going to read her words to you. And um, it is with great pleasure that I nominate Jacob Day, first grade student for the October Merit Award. Jacob is a wonderful student and classmate. He is polite, helpful, mannerly, and kind. Jacob is a joy to have in class. He works well with others. I can always count on Jacob to be a role model to his peers. He knows what is expected of him and works to his ability at all times. Academically, Jacob excels and is willing to help anyone in any way he can. He comes to school prepared for the day, pleasant, and ready to give his all. His respectfulness stands out, and he is truly a wonderful example of tornado pride. It is my pleasure to recognize Jacob's efforts. Congratulations, Jacob. Keep up the great work. Outside of school, Jacob plays on a tornado flag football team. Some of his hobbies include riding his bike and four-wheeler, swimming, and racing remote control cars. He enjoys nature, animals, and spending time with his family. Jacob also attends church in Treverton. Jacob is the son of Joseph and Brianna Dea. His siblings include brothers Bradley, Daniel, Braden, and Joseph, and one sister, Ariane. Jacob resides in Mount Carmel. Again, congratulations, Jacob. And on behalf of the Mount Carmel Area School Board of Education, congratulations, and you're welcome to say a couple words. Thank you. Thank you. Our class, welcome. Congratulations. Good job, Pal. Good pose there for your mom with Mr. Brecker. That's over. Done. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Our high school merit award winner is Ashley Plaza Espinoza. Did I pronounce that right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Would you like to? Uh, well, you can just stay standing. I'm going to read this for you. The Mount Carmel Area Board of Education uh, Merit Award winner for the month of October is Senior Ashley Tuaza Espinoza. She was nominated for the Merit Award by Ms. Ashley Jarasevich, who said, I am recommending Ashley for the School Board Merit Award because she is a student who truly encapsulates the criteria for the reward. 
She is the type of student who seems to fall under the radar of many, but she is absolutely a student who deserves to be recognized for her efforts. Ashley has created projects that are astounding creative, creative ability. She created a graphic novel for AP Literature and Composition this year that was worthy of publication. It was that clean and well done. She also designed our novel idea t-shirt last year. I am hopeful she will create this year's design as well. I know she plans to pursue a degree related to an artistic field so she can continue to refine her already extraordinary skills. Ashley also challenged herself her senior year by taking AP literature with me. She has always performed at an AP level for English, even when she was a student in my college English 11 class. She offers insightful and unique perspectives to discussions. I, be, I firmly believe that this is due to her bilingual background. Ashley is a first-generation immigrant from Ecuador. Due to her bilingual nature, I always see Ashley in the hallways and even in classes, helping our Spanish-speaking students with navigating a school that is largely English-speaking. Her compassionate nature is shown as she often helps Mr. Mrs. Burns getting new transfer students acclimated to life here in, at MCA. Ashley has even encouraged an ESL student who transferred here last year to join a novel idea to help her with English language acquisition. I was very excited to hear that Ashley also joined peer mediation this year. Again, Ashley deserves this award as she truly encapsulates the five criteria of the School Board Merit Award here at MCA. Does a lot, she does a lot of positive things in the school. I've had Ashley in the capacity of a student for both College English 11 and this year as a student in my AP Literature and Composition class. Ashley also has been an active member of my reading club, a novel idea for two years. Ashley is a member of the volleyball team and participates in art club, peer mediation, future teachers of America, national honor society, and a novel idea. She likes to do anything related with art, reading, playing volleyball with her friends, and partaking in clubs and activities. Ashley is the daughter of Gracious Espinosa of Coltma. After Ashley graduates, she plans to go to college to continue her studies and major in art. Congratulations, Ashley, on behalf of the school board. Anything? Uh, I would like to say that I appreciate like coming to the school was like something that was like helpful to me because I didn't really grow up with a lot. So I just like I appreciate that I was able to come to Pennsylvania and attend Mount Carmel for them to give me so many opportunities for stuff like this. Thank you. Congratulations, Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for your work. Yeah. And uh, thank you, Jacob. And thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and thank you, all the parents who are here and grandparents. We're glad that you were able to come as well. So at this point in our meeting, you're welcome to stay. Or if you would like to head out, you're welcome to do that too. We will not be offended. You're welcome to go if you'd like. That's up to you. <laughs> but congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, at this point, approval of the minutes is needed of uh, the September 19, 2024 regular board meeting. We have a motion. Motion. Motion, Mr. Nick Dixon. Second. Second, Mr. Zach. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And we have a PTA recommended report. How about any guests desiring to speak the listed agenda items? There are no online comments. Right. Administrative reports. Mr. Cheddar? Uh, nothing additional, Mr. Rano. Principal's reports. Uh, high school? We have our combined building report. Mr. Cheddar alluded to this earlier. First marking period is ending on Monday, October 28th. Uh, I'd like to thank all of our students and teachers for their hard work during the first nine weeks of school. Report cards will be posted at the high school on Tuesday, November 5th. We began our winter keystone focus groups during activity period at the high school. Exams for those take place in early December. We'd like to thank our Keystone teachers for putting in all the extra time this during the focus groups to prepare our students. The guidance office hosted a college fair past Tuesday the 15th. Over 35 reps were here from schools, the military, and labor unions. I'd like to thank Mrs. Nessico and Mrs. Van Oblaw for coordinating this event. On Monday, uh, reps from the Pennsylvania Office of Attorney General will be visiting to discuss social media as it pertains to staying smart and safe online with our students. High school will be hosting Trunk or Treat on Tuesday, October 29th. And just like to give a special thanks to Ms. Niglio for helping coordinate and also mm -hmm. to Mr. Cheddar for spearheading going back to last year's so the second annual trucker treat at the high school. Veterans Day Assembly at the high school will be on Veterans Day, November 11th. 
We just would like to thank the rest of our staff, office secretaries, maintenance, and aides. They have helped us get off to a great start of the school year for first market career. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Mansky. Uh, elementary. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, as everyone said about the end of the marking period, um, dates are the same for the elementary, with the one difference being um, report cards will be distributed on Tuesday, November 5th. Ours will, as usual, be printed and sent home. Um, we want to thank uh, all of our parents and families who came out for the track and field events at the stadium the past few days, and also to all of our staff for planning and facilitating such an awesome event. It really takes a lot of um, work and logistics to put on, so we're really grateful for that. Um, Mr. Damansky mentioned the social media presentation on Monday with the Attorney General's office. Um, grades five and six will also be participating in a session of that. Um, PTA, uh, there's no report here tonight, but I will tell you they just concluded um, a successful book fair. We hadn't had many in the years, and they also gave an award for the best behaved at grade level, which was kindergarten, who won the ice cream party for that. <laughs> um, the next Thursday, October 24th, is the annual elementary Halloween parade at 9.30 a.m., uh, weather permitting. Parents are invited to attend that as well. Um, we're currently having a fundraiser with our school wide positive for our school wide positive behavior support program. Um, for it's sorry, it's a tower pizza fundraiser. Um, anyone may contact Mrs. Carlene Zalaki at the elementary school guidance office, and the elementary veterans day program will be on Friday, November 8th at 9 30. And for that, the program that we have, um, we just want to put out to the public if anyone is a veteran or an active duty service member or a family member of any of our elementary students, we'd really love for you to join us on our Veterans Day program, because we have some activities for that. And that's all I have for today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Special Education Director Report. Good evening, everyone. The Mount Carmel Area Elementary Special Education students have started their swimming program with the assistance of their occupational therapist, physical therapist, and teachers. Swimming helps work on social development, safety, confidence, cardiovascular health, muscle building, and coordination and balance. The kids and staff are having a great time. And that's all I have for this evening. Thank you, Dr. Chrisman. Maintenance report. Good evening. The stadium home side bleacher painting has been completed. I would like to thank Evans Painting on a great job well done and the donation of numbering of the steps for the spectators to find their seats easier. The main football field watering system has been blown out and winterized for the season. The district has also completed the changeover from heating to cooling on October 14th. I would also like to thank LSI on the completion of the sidewalk project, as well as pave it on the seal coating of areas around the district. That's all I have for this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brosh. Athletic Director's Report. Good evening, everyone. Our varsity cross country team will be participating in the PIAA District Cross Country Championships, which are being held next Thursday at Bloomsbury University. And our Lord, Our Lady of Lords co op boys soccer team will also be participating in the district playoffs, which will be held at a time and place to determine next week. Our football team will be playing in their week eight game against Milton tomorrow evening, and then we'll be participating in the annual cold bucket festivities next week prior to the cold bucket game against Shimokin. Uh, festivities will include varsity cheerleaders, senior football players, and selected band members traveling to nursing homes to perform a pep rally for residents as part of their annual community service activities. The annual bonfire event at the West End Fire Company in Fultmont following their Halloween parade and a district-wide pep rally beginning at 135 in the high school gymnasium. Any A reminder to any athlete who plans on competing in a winter sport but did not participate in a fall sport and does not have a physical to please stop in the athletic office for paperwork. And finally, I would just like to thank our trainer, Tom Swaldy, who has done such a great job as always attending to our athletes this fall season and to all our fall coaches for their time and effort that they put into each of our teams. And that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to athletic items, a motion is needed to approve athletic items one through 13 as listed. Motion. 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 Second. Okay. And second, Mr. Brecker. First, Mr. Gonzalez, second, Mr. Brecker. Right. Other question? All right. Gonzalo, and then Mr. Brecker. Okay. okay. Mr. Mr. Valley votes yes. Mr. Brozowski? Yes. Okay. Mr. Hickson? Yes. All right, Ms. James is absent. Mr. Mulvaney is absent. Mr. Reno? Yes. And Mr. Zach? Yes. 
motion motion passes. Right. Uh, uh, Nevin, I vote yes. I'm sorry, Mr. Gonzalo. I, I missed you. <laughs> sorry about that. I, I'll go. I'll vote yes. Do I think you just got mixed oh, up? Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. did with the, the I'm sorry, I did okay. with the initial motion. Right. Yeah, We're the ones who made the mode. Yeah. 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 No, problem. no problem. I apologize. Everybody votes for us. All right. Financial items. Motion is needed to approve financial items one through four. Motion. Motion, Mr. Motion. Back. Second. Second. Second, Mr. Brecker. Second, Mr. On Brecker. the question. Okay. Mr. Valley, it votes yes. Mr. Berzowski? Yes. Mr. Brecker? Yes. Mr. Gonzalo? Yes. Mr. Hickson? Yes. Mrs. James is absent. Mr. Mulvaney is absent. Yes. Mr. Reno? Yes. Mr. Zach? Yes. All right. Got everybody that time. All right. Any committee uh, reports? No primary education foundation? Oh, Mr. Renner, our education foundation is meeting after our meeting tonight. Okay. All right. Moving on to new business. Motion to approve new business items one through 12 as listed. Motion, Mr. Berzovsky. Second. Second, Mr. Hickson on the question. All right. Okay, Mr. Bally, it votes yes. Mr. Berzovsky? Yes. Mr. Brecker? Yes. Mr. Gonzalo? Yes. Mr. Hickson? Yes. Mrs. James is absent. Mr. Mulvaney is absent. Mr. Reno? Yes. And Mr. Zach? Yes. All right. Personnel items. Motion is needed to approve personnel items one and two as listed. Motion. Motion, Mr. Brecker. Second. Second, Mr. Gonzalo. Mr. Brecker, Mr. Gonzalo, second. Okay. Mr. Bally votes yes. Mr. Rosowski? Yes. Mr. Brecker? Yes. Mr. Gonzalo? Yes. Mr. Dixon? Yes. Mrs. James is absent. Mr. Mulvaney is absent. Mr. Reno? Yes. And Mr. Zach? Yes. Wait, are there any public comments or questions at this time? There are no online comments. All right. Do I have a motion for adjournment? Motion. Motion, Mr. Gonzalo, is second. Anybody want to second that? They're going to second. Second, Mr. Berzowski. All in favor? All right. All right. Next regular meeting is November 21st. And don't forget the reorganizational meeting is December 4th at the vote. You are dismissed.